Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the latest episode. This is a special episode of the JLS Gaming Show. I'm your host, Will A.K. LaSalle with the beautiful Liliana LaSalle next to me and the awesome Kongs R Us, right? So everybody give them a, a warm welcome. We're, we'll have people in the comments and everything like that. And we're going to have the link to their page. They're an awesome, phenomenal couple. We were on their show earlier and we were just, we were just saying how and we were talking before the show and during their show and, and even before the show on how the awesome community. And, you know, we have so much overall uh, community love on the discords, whatnot, YouTube family, the Facebook groups. Right. And we've always found so many freaking awesome people. Right. Twitch. Right. And, you know, cons are us. There's some awesome content, some tutorials that beautiful Liliana, LaSalle and myself follow. Right. And I, I tell these guys, you know, some of the stuff that helps us helps our daughter Willow, you know, be able to um, follow, follow along. Right. And we're eagerly anticipating the pinballer one. Right. So please welcome then. Cons are us. Thank you guys so much for being on the channel. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself and your channel. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, go by B. This is Mrs. Kong's R Us. Uh, so I've been putting together content for the last two years, mostly in the home arcade space, uh, arcade one ups at games, I arcade, mostly I arcade. It, sorry, arcade one up has been my main jam, but I, I really distinguished myself as a channel based on what you said, my modding videos. So I started off as the very first person to take the Star Wars arcade one up and then be able to mod it so it can plug into a pc and play games and so as a gamer at heart awesome. um i i wanted to do more than what the three games were on a cabinet were so you know i i dug in a little little uh google searching and uh people ask about my background all the time and it's not in tech or or anything i actually work in a nonprofit wow. space um but yeah i just like tinkering and so the tinker in me developed a channel and a hobby and mrs kong's arrest came along uh, I was told there would be breakfast at every single uh, <laughs> show. That kind of happened drinks. for all of three shows. <laughs> uh, yeah, I promised things that I couldn't deliver. But shes it's been fun having her join the hobby with either live streams and helping out and just adding another, uh, I'd say, you know, character to the brand. If you saw the name of the channel, it was meant to be something that I shared with the family. And it, it turned mm -hmm. into home arcades as my main market. But anytime I can get her on the show with me, it's, it's a good time. She adds her own flair to things. And, it, and it's always good to evolve <laughs> yeah to evolve and, and things because that's the thing you know where you know um in in the, the day business i'm telling a lot of people right you know you have to evolve or die right yeah. i use a lot of analogies from companies past and so so probably for the audience here you hear like blockbuster you might hear like like blackberry right um nokia things of that nature and i was I was on Glenn's show on Friday and he ironically he had me in the little Nokia <laughs> phone on the bottom and I'm like, oh man. But um, <laughs> you know, it's and it's funny because Blackberry, right? We we had Blackberry, I had BBM, I loved it. Yeah. And they just didn't they actually evolved in a in a nice way with cybersecurity, right? So research and motion. But it's always good to to evolve and, and and move with that, right? Where trends are, and that's one of the the things now. With, with your channel, right, um, and you built a great community, even on Facebook, right? And I didn't even know about that one, honestly, B, until you you, you told me we, we were connecting and everything like that, trying to find. Yeah. And you said, hey, join this thing. And I'm like, wow. And that's a great community. I didn't even know Glenn um, and Steven, they they added me as well. And they're like, oh, yeah, we found you. Because my my avatar on Facebook is, is me with a lot of snow on my nose from... Uh, <laughs> It's like a reface uh, of Al, Al Pacino and Scarface. So if yeah. anybody out there, you know, that is me. You can add me. Okay. Don't think it's like, what's this guy? And and it's fake. It's not real. It's not, yeah. <laughs> it's not real. But that's, a, that's huge. And I love that because helping people. And sometimes we talked about it earlier, you know, the beautiful Liliana LaSalle, and I'm used to, I say that all day. It's not just on the show. It's annoying. It's right? true. It, 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 it's become annoying. It's become <laughs> annoying. Be, well, she says it's annoying, but it's it's the adjective. Because what, what is it they say? If you keep doing something, it becomes a habit. So now That's it is that I habit. I to say your name when I when I first met you. I wanted to say I like I wanted, people, It rolls off the tongue, too. It's a people great People say that name. now all the yeah. time. Glenn was saying that on yeah. Friday. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, Aww, it's, see. it's And it's so awkward, though. But it is sucking up. It is sucking up, right? Happy wife, happy life. And um, 
she has followed you know tutorials and but she's able to help people and it's such a great feeling right to be able to help people and Damn. so is that how you feel be like what what you're doing i know and i know you guys have a great the the pinballer right whatever um the mystery encoder i'm sorry with yeah. the v, with the pinballer like like i thought it was personal for real like i remember i pinged you on one of your shows or whatever on the live like dude he called you out on like the the pace bin bro <laughs> like like what's going on and then like two weeks later i'm like he's gonna be on your show i'm like what did i yeah. miss yeah, yeah. so, so uh, i think you're right about that. for me when i was first making content my very first video was a tutorial video it was about showing the world what i did and youtube I feel like it's a big adult show and tell. I think yeah. honestly, and if I was proud of something and people said, hey, can you make a video on that? Uh, at the time, I saw how other tutorials were made and I was always like, I, I feel like I can do a better job of explaining kind of complicated things to, you know, maybe just a lay person. And so that's why it took time to make like a really in-depth tutorial. And that became my brand for when I was doing tutorials. And a lot of people, when they follow my content, I try to put myself as an end user and say, how can I make this the easiest for anybody to follow, right? So from even my most, my most current video, that's probably like the biggest this year, I made a tutorial video on installing Fight K2. Right. And yes. there's been tons yes. of fight cave videos, installation videos, but I get tons of comments and they make me feel good every single time it says this is like the easiest video I've seen on this or this is yep. the best portion of it. Because I, I do. I take that into heart and say, how can I make this quick, easy for people to follow along? And, and I take super pride and joy of doing that. Uh, the Facebook community that you saw is focused on those that have wanted to mod their Star Wars. It's still kind of my main niche in market. Yeah. And so I've actually offered very limitedly doing some commissions for folks too. So I also help others with their builds or I do tutorial or I put together parts. And I didn't think there was going to be a market for that. Originally, I was like tutorials and that's it. I didn't think people would actually want to pay me to like either source parts or mod their stuff for them. But it became a little bit of a side way to not only help certain community members, but I think I've modded over 75 Star Wars cabs, wow. if not more, and over probably like 150. And that's a lot of like physical labor to like drill holes yeah. and do all this wiring and things. There's also a lot of physical places it's taken it up does. the house. It takes up so. a lot of space. And like I have people that are local that'll drop off their whole cabs and things, but it, it's just what? become a way for me to, you know, somewhat help others. And, you know, it's not, it's not one of those things that I need to do it, but one, they, they're asking, they want it, but it, it's at the same time, it's, uh, I enjoy it. It's like, it's not my day-to-day -day work. It's, it's my passion to tinker and, and work on stuff. It just takes up a lot of space. So. Yeah. It's one of those COVID hobbies that it um, was a COVID going. hobby. Yeah, Ooh. it definitely was. It was like, a, I can't go anywhere. Can't, yeah. can't do my playing basketball. I can't do other things and it became arcades. So I got a question for both of y'all around that. So how, what ends up being the odd cab out? What's your, what's your method to that when you got to make space for a new cab or something like that? Or are you guys just buying a new house or something <laughs> like that? Like, because I need the advice because right now I got to get rid of some calves and, and they're like, to me, they're like my wife's cats. Like she, there's nothing I can say that she'd ever get rid of the cats. And, um, but she's. You know, looking at me kind of funny he always says that he didn't want cats and i wanted cats so we compromised and we got three cats so that's yep. kind of <laughs> is it three cats or three yeah i know i saw you guys have three cats too. Yeah, yeah yeah so i mean funny story same, same situation here three cats arcade um no we <laughs> had boundaries from the get-go when we first started dating and we moved in together we got a two-bedroom apartment they rule was whatever you want whatever hobbies you have because i knew he was a huge collector from the get-go it stays yeah. in that second room it does not bleed out i don't want this to look like a kid's house um and mm -hmm. it's been that way for a long time up until he brought home his first arcade cab <laughs> and he had no space in his uh, man cave to put it so i said all right we have a spare bedroom you can leave it here temporarily but it, it doesn't bleed out into the house um he looked at our den area which is where we're currently situated right now and he said we don't need this couch. No one's sitting here. Wait, COVID, no one's coming over. No one's sitting here. He sells the couch when I'm in the middle of a Zoom meeting. So I'm watching him come downstairs with this couch piece by piece. In the background? I'm watching in front of me. So nobody oh, sees behind me, but okay, they just see okay. my reaction going. What? Freaking out. Yeah. And either it's like 
We're, I sold it quick. I, I put it up on like offer up and like that same day I was like, I'm just gonna do it. I got an offer. I was like, they're coming from the valley. Let's like let's go. Like sometimes you just sometimes yeah. you just gotta do it. Just me. do like, it. Oh gosh. So I mean oh, I don't know. Right. The boundaries have probably been a blurred a little bit only because it's like, well, we have the space and I could just put this here temporarily to set up or anything. But yeah, like he's I do done... apologize because it, it is taking up not only this space now, my room, our spare bedroom, because uh, it, and it's not just my arcade. It, it's like you can see it right there. Like that's my my toolkit of stuff for mm. all my modding commissions and things. And so most of the stuff I would say is tied up in projects and things that not and they're not my projects right it's people that I, i've worked mm -hmm. with and, and some of them uh, you know i really enjoy working on with and collaborating with other people because there's a lot of talented modders out there like i did a yeah. show on thursday where people are just crazy yeah. talented and that's what i've really enjoyed from my live show perspective is being able to talk to other creative people and i think in that outlet it inspires you more so i want to get back to that so i'm actually semi-retiring from doing commissions one because parts there's a lot of parts shortage for the parts yeah. that i need yeah. but I, I want that space to you know collaborate more work on my own stuff and yeah, really you get finish the stuff that you have yes, going on i'm sorry for example, um... <laughs> there's also downstairs a virtual pinball there is <laughs> It's oh, too heavy for me to like drag out of the house, but oh, if I yeah. could, I would drag it out of the house. Yeah, I, I got a lot. Of oh but man! Anybody who's on this channel, if you're interested, we got a couple of pinballs, highest <laughs> offer. We have. A <laughs> she doesn't mean that. <laughs> well, I do mean it. I like how you said boundaries, right? So, because there's none here, and that was my fault for not establishing that. Because he's like, "Hey, can can I get this arcade cabinet? Which one was it? The first one that you got." Which one from RK one up? So yeah, it was some RK. Yeah, I the don't Street Fighter one. Uh, okay, the Street Fighter one, the very so, first one. So we were living in a townhouse. We were still renting at the time, living in a townhouse. We just moved to to South Florida, and we really didn't have like an extra room for it. So I thought, you know, like cool, we'll we'll get one. He said it'll go in the living room, and I thought he was kidding. He wasn't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so like it's smack dab in like my cute little designer living room you know an arcade cabinet so when we moved we did compromise so our house now is one room is his game room and then i have what we call the wine room which is i got all my wine stuff in there a little kind of like sitting area but that's how we compromise so he's running out of room is the problem here so i as the good wife that i am have said that he can start putting stuff on my side too and it could just be like a combo like whole because it's right across from each other um but yeah we're gonna probably outgrow the house period at this point Cat cabs are like jello man there's always room there's always room we, we just gotta like 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 b you took the couch out like you know actually he took the couch out he took he the couch out straight up took yeah. the couch out it's yeah. not it's not he in the too. house anymore i can't <laughs> yeah. even move he it somewhere it's not here yeah, he's like, we don't really need a couch in the arcade room because you're on the arcade and we have stools. Like, and I'm like, you're right, you don't need a couch. So yeah, I'm I'm out there looking. So if anybody knows, for me only, because I I still have my PS5 and Xbox Series X on the on the TV in there. For me only, I'm looking for a gamer chair that maybe can fold or something like that. So when I want to sit there myself, I can like unfold it and be there comfortable on the PS5. <laughs> All the other cabinets you use stools or you stand up right so that's my vision it's my room right so i don't tell her what to do in any other room in the house i'm like babe you can do whatever you want with sit that down room, racing cab right office i chair. would i would love to yeah there you go then you can sit in the off the sit down race chair while you play your yep. games so that's, that'd be awesome would and, you like and to buy one yeah. i will happily sell this for 55 dollars <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I'd auction off my stuff, you know. But like we talked about earlier, like uh, yeah, we have we have like the algorithms just get me and whatnot. And I think I I, I think you guys were on, on um B, I think you were on whatnot as well, right? And um at least I started an account, think, but I haven't done anything with it yet. Yeah. Ooh, okay. that nearly used me backward. Dude, I, I that is as addicting. I'm buying stuff on there, He's man. About it. I mean, you know what I'm wow. saying? Like I just sit oh, there wow. and like there's some dude. nice things. Super Metroid, my jam. Dude, right, complete inbox. Like um, yeah. there, there, there are guys that'll that'll do. At, I'm like addicted. Yeah. But she says that they have some gamification, right? 
-hmm. and she kicked butt. We didn't even realize how much she kicked butt, guys. She got, um, this is uh, the luckiest man on earth, not R, who wins so many of our giveaways and trivia <laughs> contests. Time. I always say, like, dude, I'm going to go to a casino with him. So if he's ever in Orlando <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But she was, was so she, um, they were playing a game. Shout out to. It was um, like matching. Game. So they had a board with different characters mm -hmm. and stuff, um, video game stuff. And then they had post-its on top of it. And it was kind of like a matching game where you picked, like, they had, like, A and mm -hmm. the numbers going across. I kicked butt on it. And you had to, like, bid. And once you bid, you can pick a square or two squares. And if it matched, like I wound up. Or memory. Yeah. Well, memory. well, it was like the Super like Mario. Memory. Remember? Yep. Yeah. But but they had the, the theme song the dun, 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 from Super Mario 3, right? Like the this, thing yeah. that aggravated everybody trying to match mm -hmm. the stars. Mm -hmm. She, and she did that. She was tracking things, whatever, you know, looking like those memes with all the numbers over the head and all that stuff, like Rain notes, Man. Actually. And yeah, she's saying that. She ended up, no lie, at the end of the day, she took home four graded water games. Wow. Like wow. sealed? That's awesome. Sealed, graded, nine and above nine, yeah, water games. Which, which one's a Ninja Guide in for the Wii U? Um, a pokey stadium, I think, for, for N64. Awesome. Four water games. And I'm just sitting there like, when, so when they arrived, we lost track. And she, she won four water games off. Congrats, off man. Plus a, a whole bunch of other things. Two sealed and television games. Sealed and television. So it's addicting. Actually, it just got here yesterday. No, Do you know what not is? Yesterday. It's like the sell apps, isn't it? Like it's like a, it's a live auction app. So instead of like eBay where you set a bidding for like a certain yeah. time, it's like their users will go live and it's like you have 30 seconds to bid this. So it's so like legit live auction. So basically it's perfect for me to like sell everything in you here. You could. It like, takes yes. a lot of We did yes, one. You could. You could. But we it, did it's a good live for liquidating if you're, and it's good engagement if you can get a good amount of people on there for sure. Yeah. And the, there's some people. <laughs> for this chair. What else do I'm sure. Here? Listen. I'm sure I'm sure I'm they would good. it the way I look at it too is because it's our new vice, right? Well, my at least mine, right? But she gets bags on there. Like they like have guys. A, a designer purse uh section as well. So <laughs> yeah, they have a designer purse <laughs> and she was in there and I just I just went in there. They don't know like, we're married. Oh, and yeah. yeah, I just went in there, like they did a shopping spree thing or whatever like that. And I just said I ran it up to like, you know. Or something. 500 i think it was 500 even and then okay and then yeah whatever it is i joked with them i said get it send it to my mistress lily five lily fl55 five five is her name on there and um they got her a bag or whatever but it's it's addicting man but i i look at it like again we're in orlando so we have game um we have those theme kind of restaurants right mm -hmm. so like there's a pirate one there's um medieval, medieval times. times there's there's one out here that's all themed we're put I'm Puerto Rican, but our kids are half Puerto Rican. But um, they have a Puerto Rican themed restaurant that they're dressed like that. It looks like you're in old San Juan. So a lot of that, it's it's a show aspect to it. And that's what I look at what not sometimes because some some of the stuff you'll get good deals, guys. But some of the stuff, they just run it up because it's the person. I yeah. bid on dumb stuff, too. Um, I bid on uh, licking a Nintendo Switch cartridge because you guys know they they like <laughs> put something that's disgusting on it to have the kids not lick it. Well, I paid. Well, did you like guys know that when you fifty two dollars for them for to lick it for someone to for lick someone the... to lick yeah, it, it, it was priceless. Like... The just to watch them amazing. do it yeah i, I think it depends on who like again if you build up a following enough yeah it, it's it's definitely an entertainment just to watch i've sat there watching a few auctions just to kind of see it and then yeah, yeah it takes a good personality to be able to sell and exactly and, and it's like have inventory you know, and community we want yeah. to always help support yeah. other games so you guys are going to be doing a whatnot sale soon we have to liquidate to liquidate to fund, to fund the ago. arcade cabs right. yeah yeah <laughs> we, that's awesome yeah, we did we did one a couple of weeks ago just to, to fill it out. But with with the game room, we don't want to do it here, so we want to have it in the in the game room and still be in front. So now that the game room is is about to get um, probably be ready for us to move the stuff back week. in this yeah. week, we'll do one in the next two weeks. And you know, it's to so I'll liquidate some stuff right a again. Um, so people will do we'll do some giveaways, we'll do um, liquidation. Um, because 
I, I'm just I have a different vision for 3.0 of the game room. Um, Are you selling stuff to make uh, space for those mini consoles that you want to talk about? Is that going to be on your your? So the mini list? consoles is a great great segue too. So so the mini consoles. Um, what what I wanted to kind of talk about and chit chat and give me your take on it, right? I know yeah. that that there's a lot of remakes that are happening now, right? There's the Street Fighter collection, there's Turtles, right? Um, and they're coming out on all the consoles they're having. We all know with the RK One Up community, right? They're coming out with things. There's big rumors. Um, we'll say it here. I know you didn't want to ru ruin thunder um, for others, but there's rumors of a of a Blitz cab, right? That was strong before the the you were there you guys were there so again guys follow cons are us because they were there live when the rumors were there and it ended up being the uh uh shack right the shack version right guys yep yeah yeah so so how was when you were there live was there the sense of like because there was all the hype kind of like with with dr strange and i don't want to ruin it for anybody out there you know it's like week three now i think but it's been out was there like that air of disappointment or no <laughs> Yeah, for, for me going to that, and okay. uh, I know it was a lot of money. Thank you so much for letting me have my mandate with Bobby Vu. Uh, I got a ring out of it. <laughs> it I, I went into it, uh, you know, with the expectation that uh, Arcade One Up hasn't done these big announcement events in a while. It's been like several years since they were at an in person reveal. And I was excited to be at an event that just had a ton of Arcade One Ups and you know what whatever was going to be revealed and so as soon as i got there and i saw it and kind of knew what it was i knew the community was definitely somewhat disappointed but yeah. i mean all things aligned and it made sense if you follow the cues and the trail crumbs about like who yeah. the it was a shack event so i mean it just yeah. really made sense for it to be a uh you know a nba jam something basketball related versus like an nfl announcement even though it was super bowl weekend the event itself didn't really state like anything football it was just a big party in a, in a nutshell uh, but i think the reveal was um was good to announce at least that to your point it's evolving like you know arcade one up is looking at the next thing to evolve here in the customer base uh, i know there's the uh issues about some of the quality of the parts and things but it is that that compromise that we're looking for in a nostalgic device mm -hmm. that is going to look good in your house and be amazing functional furniture so i think they're evolving to a good point but that was the, my sense when I was at the event. It wasn't like I wasn't disappointed. I had a good time. It was like all included drinks and and food. And, you know, I was just sharing that experience with the community because it was in L.A. And if, if it was in your area, I'm sure you'd find a way to go. And they don't do these events too often. So I was like, yo, you're in L.A. I need to I need to make that effort to be there. And it yeah. worked out. And like we have to say, like, folks are going to hate on whatever happens. Mm -hmm. And they're always going to think yeah. about like in the past, like Arcade 1UP did this or Arcade 1UP does this. So they're going to replicate it in the existing cab or the cab that's going to be released. Where as like for B, he was lucky to be able to go and see it in person at live. So I would say for the people who are sort of like on the fence or just wondering about it, wait till it gets to you. Uh, mm. Put your hands on it. Figure it out if this is something that you like, as opposed to going back and looking at what uh, Arcade one up did in the past because they're listening to the community. They're evolving, as you mentioned. So it's not so much about like we're just gonna stick the same old like piece and bits into it as like the other one. Um uh, hopefully people will be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, and and we we moved up here about two years ago, right? Or before the pandemic right. hit three. And we got that first RK one up cabinet. We were in South Florida and now their HQ, RK one ups HQ, they got the whole thing in, in the in, okay. yeah, in the Dolphins. So you're right. If I was down there, yes, I would have made it out there. I would have yeah. been, you know, yeah. like the community says, I would have been chilling, John D saying, Hey man, get me out there, you know, everything like that. I would have been I go out to the Miami Stadium. You know, I've been there for like IT events and mm -hmm. stuff like the Dolphins team isn't isn't that good. Now they're 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 better, but um at that time. So I would have did it, but then I moved up here and they moved their HQ, I guess, from New York, uh, their main yeah. HQ from New York down there. And I'm like, rats. Like, yeah, I would have I would have loved that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would have loved that. But now I we still well, you've been down there. I don't think I've still gone down there because of the pandemic and everything, driven down there. We're about a three and a half hour um drive. It's just it's a brutal drive. Because in, yeah. in Florida, there's love bugs that get all on your windshield in certain seasons and We've had to drive back and forth and um, pull over and like yeah. Scrape Have you guys ever heard carcasses? of love bugs? What is that? Okay, it's Being the weirdest thing. We well, <laughs> it's it gets weird, right? 
So there, there's these bugs and they attach to them to like their partner or whatever, like by their tails. So there's like basically two bugs together. That's why they're fornicating or whatever. Yeah, they're doing their thing. <laughs> as they're flying the around. Is, as they're flying around. So when you see them flying around, there's two of them. It's weird. And we yeah. had no idea about them. And they're just kind of like in this area and they're attracted to gas fumes. Mm. So they're all over the highway. So we're not just us, but people are literally pulled over because so many of them are just like coming at your windshield that you can't see. And then they ruin your paint. Like it's the worst thing. Oh yeah. Crazy. It's like bugs just smacking them too. Like <laughs> wow. you're just driving but really like, fast. So many of them, like hundreds of them to the point where you have to pull over and <laughs> clean because you can't see. It's so oh, wow. it's so, yeah, I mean, like, it's we've, so we've, scary. We've it's probably experienced something thing. like that driving home from Vegas in the summertime because like all the bugs are out, but not yeah, like not to a, the degree to extent, where you actually yeah. have to They're, stop and yeah. like <laughs> it's so bad. It's disgusting. So one one quick thing as as well, right? So which I'm gonna I'm gonna ask, right? Is is there is there a buzz out there of people in California um, trying to to move because of the whole Disney thing? Because because that's what we're we're getting here is she gets a lot of people asking about because um they're moving like a thousand jobs or something like that from out there to here, but now with politics and stuff like that in the in the Disney. Now here it's Disney is like the number one employer, right? Like this is all swamp um gators and everything like that till disney got out here they celebrating 50 years i think it was mm -hmm. yeah. right so we get a lot of times people out here that move mostly from new york down here we're transplants from new york new jersey because they want to evade um taxes <laughs> mainly right we moved down here because uh, and we originally lived in miami we wanted a vacation then we figured out miami's not really family friendly um it, it's more for young people um so, and we were always in Orlando anyway. Anytime it was a three-day weekend, we had annual passes. We were here for Disney, Universal, SeaWorld, right? So we just said, screw it. We work remote. Let's move up here. Do you guys get that feeling? Are, are you guys having friends that are moving to Austin or Florida? I mean, Texas or Florida? Um, Not friends personally, but I know a lot of corporations are leaving yeah. uh, California, California primarily yeah. due to like property tax and just like there's no space to develop anything here in California. It's it's kind of sad. Um, you're basically building on too. top of buildings on top of buildings, which is it's not a great quality of life. I think with the pandemic, yeah. people are finding out that like I can still continue to work with my company if they offer a fully remote package. Therefore, yeah. I'll go pay to have property somewhere where I actually can live like there's a uh, space for that, too. So I do know of a lot of um, at least corporations that used to be based here in California who have left to go to Texas, who have left to go to like the Midwest states because it's again, property taxes is just way cheaper. There is definitely yeah. an exodus of um, people that I've heard, not our friends personally, but just people I've heard who the same mentality too, like I can work remote. Why do I need to stay here and pay an absurd amount of money for property tax for like all these little things um, when I could just be still making the money that I'm making here in California, but then uh, not having to worry about the cost of property or the cost of living in general, it, yeah. where I could be anywhere. And it, it, with the pandemic, the other uh, parts that I've seen is folks want to go back and go home. They want to connect back with their loved ones because they're worried about like, um, are they going to get sick? Do I need to take care of them? Can I just be closer to them? Because um, I just mm -hmm. want to be there. So I'm seeing that. So not so much about like, um, I'm trying to get away from property tax, but just getting back and going home and going to be like around my loved ones. And that, that makes that makes a lot of sense, right? And to tie that back into, you know, into gaming, right? Um, that that aspect is what because we're all here too by um, EA, one of the EA studios, right? The one that does uh, Madden, I think the mobile, the mobile games. But it's so it's so awesome that the pandemic has shown. I've always worked remote, right? So um, and I've managed people that even before social media that I didn't know what people looked like until they added me on facebook or linkedin right and so i'm a big with what you said mrs conzeros right with what you said it makes sense where um the, people can work from anywhere so why not go back home right why not um and this will help develop a lot of these rural areas so we're we're getting it here and the reason i was alluding to that is she is showing so many houses and i see people around here with game rooms that just like what 
she's showing a house and she'll send me a picture like she's showing this house and they have um you know they have a game room and we went to see a house because we're trying to have more entertainment space right we're kind of leveling up and we're sitting there saying hey when people come over which you guys whenever you guys in orlando have you know can come come over so we awesome. want to be able to entertain right we have the game but she showed she showed me a house we went to see a house and b you'll probably appreciate this and and i wanted to stay in the guy's garage because he had an avengers infinity quest pinball yeah. brand new in a box so i'm plotting nice. how, how i could do some yeah i'm plotting how i can do some uh you know fast and furious break in or something like that oceans 12 <laughs> and take it because i'm thinking the box is empty he had a stranger sting one stern mm -hmm. and an yeah. infinity quest he had a you showed us your parts right in, behind you he had a section a wall with parts it was like donkey kong pcb this that and i'm sitting there and this is his garage no ac or nothing like that and i'm just like sitting there sweating drooling as well <laughs> but then we go to his game room which is upstairs and he's got anniversary uh, um anniversary wizard of oz pinball he's got the stranger things one up there he's got all these arcade cabs and i'm like yeah i gotta level up man this is this Pinball is the, free stuff. the home arcade market really opened up the door for people to like have some nostalgia and then it continues to grow and i definitely have gotten my share of full-size cabs in our garage i have half a garage yeah. cage that's not up and running but um it's it's really opened the door to to relive part of that hobby and being able to do it in the pandemic space at home was nice but the goal has always yeah. been to have people share that passion with you so it's probably one of the reasons why you see a lot of home arcade content creators here doing some of this is because we like watching each other it's because you go you used to go to the arcade to share that passion and then that's where we find um you know the people that are most passionate about our hobbies is in this space so it's been great to like see people like you other yeah. content creators it's why we gravitate to being in this space and why it's such a tight niche community because it's where the homies are at that's where we can put our quarters on the glass and you know yes hello, play some games shout out shout out to put, put the quarters on the glass yeah um and everything like that you bring up a great point i got some friends on facebook um shout out to nigel his i'm gonna butcher it i think everybody does hip hoptimus prime oh no i think mm -hmm. i said it correctly that's his that's his gamer tag mm -hmm. i met him a long time ago i think on ultimate mortal kombat 3 in the arcades right in the local arcades yeah when you you had the code that you can do to unlock smoke mm -hmm. or whatever like that so again this is going way back and we've been friends to, still, right? And I'm gonna try to get him on the show and all that. Um, but that's it's what you said, the social aspect and to be able to make friendships around that, um, I think it's great, right? And there's so many stories like that. What you're doing for the community, like I said, that you, you mentioned the Fight Cade video, that's awesome, right? And that helped us, right? So I love, love your video. I think I may have said, hey man, this is awesome. But again, I watch it on the TV um or an ipad when i'm trying to follow along and reverse pause and a lot of people do that on youtube they're trying to fix their cars she's fixed so much stuff in the house watching how to's on youtube like what other things? yeah why well, youtube man it's good stuff i think like like random things and that's the funny part is like people are out there doing all sorts of things so i was putting um probably the latest thing is i was putting our i have a 12 foot inflatable santa claus so he's got his vices i've got mine like weird stuff like that um i'm still on the lookout for like a 12 foot skeleton for halloween they sell out so quick it's sold out at home depot but so i pulled this 12 foot santa which obviously is not the easiest thing to acquire in the first place and it wasn't working i think this is like year three so i went on youtube and literally there's a whole guy that like that's what he does he so just fix it shows you how to fix inflatables i'm like what the hell it's so cool though like anything you need is on youtube and i like followed his direction some random i don't even remember what i did and it worked yeah so it's and just I, I love it i love finding people like like b finding glenn like how we found how we found glenn was you and uag i believe were were on his show or whatever like that when uh, things happen because of the hurricane or whatever like that and the community banded together and when i see that stuff it's like you know shout out to glenn and community blue right and i i love it because it hits so close to home you know we have our Boarding you know yeah. yeah we we have three cats like we were saying earlier and one of them was is a cat we call him our pirate cat because 
the vets think he was born with just one eye because it's sealed um so, so fused together uh so well that they think he was born with it he didn't lose it like in an alley or something and we saved them over 10 years ago we saved them from being euthanized Aww. you know and and he's our pirate cat jerry um his what was it? galahad was originally his name so our cats are called so you can tell us your cat's names tom ben and jerry so you can imagine <laughs> It works, right? Two ways, Cute. right? Yeah, yeah. Cute. That's so, awesome. So what are your cat's names? Uh, the one I was just holding is Cleo, short for Cleocatra. She has this really great, cool oh, eyeliner look on it. Yeah. Um, we have a, he's supposed to be a tuxedo, but it's not a full cape. He has like spots here and there. So he's Moo Moo, Moo Moo Cat, Moo Moo Cow. And the other one is Tabby for a lack of another name. Tabitha. Aww. Yeah, Tabitha. But Tabby. The I, like I love how they ours also have like full names and then like what we actually call them. Right. So yeah, so like Ben is really we call him Benjamin Linus. From Lost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Part of family. And what what's Tom? Tom is Thomas Thomas Jefferson Lasalle. Yeah. I think we call him. Our last name is Lasalle. Like yeah, I have a full decent. Well, Jerry short for Galahad. Oh, nice. Yeah, so Jerry. Well, that was his previous name. What we did is we kept the first letter of their name. So like Ben was Blackjack. So we just kept the first letter of the name and gave him. Um, so Jerry is Geraldo Rivera, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Super old school. Geraldo Rivera Lasalle. Oh, yeah, just, man. Just really like if they get a birth certificate, I don't know if we have them. Just really just just do it like that, right? Just have some weird. some weird names. I feel like this is a whole adult here. <laughs> what is this? So if people ask, you know, we 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 say that, right? So it's um it's awesome but the the cats and our our service dog that one we couldn't change the name so our son's service dog who's part of the jls gaming family is brizzo the service dog um and that he was named after chicago cubs players which now one of them is actually a new york yankee and we're yankee fans so it's not it's, so it worked out a little bit but he he you know we got him already he's fully trained so we had to kind of keep the name right we couldn't change yeah, we his didn't name. Wanna... but i but i still i call him brisket you know, sometimes I call him brisket. Gotta have a, they have that gotta nicknames, have yeah. And he, re he responds to brisket because I think he hears the BR, like the Brizzo. So I call him brisket. I I'm always like that. I don't have a middle name. And I tell everybody and my niece, my nephews, shout out to, to um, the Amaros. They're out there. They watch on the TV too, so they can't really. Um, so I tell them danger is my middle name. <laughs> I don't yeah, have a middle uh, name. So here it's, well, AK LaSalle, but I tell people danger. You know what I'm trying to say? Take a good one. <laughs> sorry about that right <laughs> but we we've gone like always because again people don't believe i'm an introvert but when you get me talking i start talking and everything like that we'll have episode 185 coming at some point this week please 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 guys for more fun and to see right mrs kru eat a two foot burrito well, it was a burrito right or oh, what are yeah. you calling it it's no, somebody else had said enchilada. Enchilada. And they I threw said, me no, off. It's a burrito. Yeah. Check that out. That's really good enchilada. Too. It does look like an enchilada. But it's yeah. a, a, a wet burrito, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Check it out. And I, I love wet burritos, but I can't even eat the regular I wet burritos. I'm gonna have here. To, I think now you're making us crave <laughs> Mexican for lunch. <laughs> so, yeah. And we've been Mexican out because Cinco de Mayo. Oh, so my birthday's birthday. on Cinco de Mayo. So it's oh, like. Extra been, party. Like, crazy. Yes. Yeah. So okay. she's been. We've been eating extra. Mexican, Mexican and, maybe, yeah. and drinks and stuff like that. So check out that on the on the replay on you know the KRU channel, as well as you know coming up. Which I'm crossing my fingers. I saw I'm subscribed. Got the notification button to see the new pinballer hack with the mystery encoder. Please do not. I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing to be shouted out on his pace bin at this point. Because like I said on your on your show earlier, it threw me off. I'm like, hey, B. You know, this guy's calling you out, man. And then all of a sudden, you're, he's on your we show. Have, so we have a fun uh, love, love, uh, love and appreciation through, you yeah. know, big FUs and things. So it's an honor yeah. to be part of that, that <laughs> little chain thing. No, and, that's, yeah, that's awesome, dude. Because, you know, in our day job, we run a cybersecurity company, right? It, it kind of morphed into that. It started out as an MSP. And the one thing I don't ever do and I don't associate with anybody is poking the bear of anyone that can do what somebody like mystery and quarter can do. That's right. right? For sure. Don't ever poke the bear. I'm like, dude, nope. That's the equivalent of me crossing the street. If I see them coming, 
right? Because I'm like, listen, I don't want them to create more work for me, man. If anything, I want to give them a job, right? Yeah. And she's she's always, um, I see this was the thing. When I try to, I get pulled back in. She's always, and it just got to the point we gave up. She's always trying to hire because in cybersecurity, there's a position called penetration tester. Every time we're always hiring penetration testers. <laughs> Guys, please don't have the dirty mind out there, right? Every time she we make a posting, it's nothing but debauchery going on, man. And I've just given up. Like everybody's like, well, I got qualifications for that, or this, that, that, and something. It's like, no, dude. I've heard all the jokes. All the We've heard them all. The burrito. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, but mm -hmm. that's why we don't poke the bear on on anything like Makes that sense. because they make they that they make good. it. You do a lot of things, so too much work for me in the cybersecurity space because of so many talented, and they get younger and younger. B, you know what I'm trying to say? They get younger. A lot of these hacks that you hear are people 16 years old, right? Um, sitting there hacking and everything like that. Um, wrapping things up as well, you know, I'm going to give quick shout outs. So shout outs, obviously, to the KRU family, Cons R Us. We'll have the link before. Shout out to Game Dragon was in there. Shout out to Chucky, our new friend, right? And Chucky was the one that was saying, this is the eidetic memory in me. I think he was saying that he lives or his hometown was out here in Orlando, right? Yeah. You probably don't remember. Chucky, if anything, shout it out. t -Jax, He's got season three, right, of his video. This is what an eidetic memory makes weird sense. I'm not stalking you guys. I just remember stuff that's weird, trivia and everything like that. Um, shout out to UAG, Mad Dad's Gaming, Bobby Vu. Um, I'm trying to remember Glenn, you know, and our whatnot, Familia, and all that good stuff. Um, before we go, Cons are Us Familia, please shout anyone out, you know, plug your show. And it's been such a pleasure to be on your show and have you on ours. Yeah, uh, it's it's just awesome collaborating, you know, to see another couple on YouTube that's kind of doing things together was one of the reasons why I, I think I don't know if it was you who reached out or me. I was like, dude, it'd be awesome to just do a show with you and a beautiful Liliana LaSalle. I think I just want to say that it's just cool to, to have another person person. I should to, trademark to that, right? Like, What's that? You should, should, should put it on a t-shirt, put it on you a t-shirt. You should brand it. I think that could be I part of the JLS so, branding. Yeah. So yeah, we'd love to see more of both of you on, on, on your, your streams. I think you'll find an audience for that. People appreciate it when Mrs. Kong's arrest can join on the show all the time. Uh, you know, and, and there's, as long as it's, it's relatable and, and it's smart talk, both of you are fantastic. So it's been awesome collaborating. I'll do, I just want to shout that out more, more than anything. And they're doing, oh, I don't know how to even point it. I'm trying to point to the two ladies. They're going to do an eating challenge, guys. So be on the lookout for that. They're going to do an there eating go, challenge. What is it? What what they, what you guys are going to do? Oreos? What was the other thing? Hot, hot nuts hot or nuts. something? Yeah. We'll, I don't care as long as I get food in the mornings because yeah. this, this school is promising. It's going food. to happen. So real soon, we're going to plug it. So they're going to have that that Oreo challenge. I love what B was saying. I, I've never heard about that before. <laughs> it here. It'll be I fun. Practice. Yeah. yeah. Practice this. It'll be fun. Um, we'll get some Oreos next time. It'll be good. Oh, so there there's some stuff right there. So Thanks, man. we're going to we're going to um sign off and everything like that. Again, thank you guys so much. See you next week. Peace. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.